Hey, this is Alpaco, and this is six features that make the Olympus EM1 Mark III great for a video. Number one, 148th shutter in video mode. This is minor, but it's nice to see it included to follow 180 degree shutter. Most hybrid cameras only do 150th of a second, and it's close enough, but it's a bit jittery and flickers under certain lighting conditions. Number two, super control panel. Olympus has a very detailed menu system, but this panel gives a quick access to everything you need to change, including frame rates. I keep all my frame rates in an order of what I use most frequently. Number three, front function buttons. Olympus has an array of buttons on their cameras and most, if not all, can be changed to the user's preferences. Top front for focus peaking and bottom front for magnification. Both can be used at the same time. While recording, focus peaking can still be used, but magnification can't. Number four, dedicated ISO button. This main affects how I set up my white balance tools, which you'll see next. This layout is different compared to the Olympus EM1 Mark II and significantly changes my shooting workflow for the better. Number 5, Function Lever Mode 2. I dedicate this completely to white balance because I deal with a lot of weird lighting situations and I find this much more intuitive. I use the back dial to control the white balance modes, which is nice for typical lighting. Then I have the front dial control Kelvin temperature and custom white balance mode. A side note, the Olympus EM1 Mark III allows you to use one touch white balance in video mode. Just make sure the center is aiming at something white or 18% gray and press info to correctly set white balance. Number six, exposure meter. This is silly and minor because I do use the histogram typically, but I prefer having more than one measurement for exposure and the Olympus EM1 Mark II does not have an exposure meter in video mode. I hope this helps someone out there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.